tension between me and my stepsons, Brandon and Brody Jenner, has been building for months. Get your car from behind my car. Crack your heads open. You guys wreck all my stuff around here. I don't wreck. I put used to your stuff. They're the sons of Olympian Bruce Jenner and Linda Thompson, a former beauty queen who now happens to be my wife. The boys dropped out of college and moved back into our 22-acre Malibu palace, where they've been living like princes on my dime. Their lack of jobs, their lack of ambition, and their excessive lifestyle is just driving me crazy. What is it you want to say? That job. For me, Brody's 21st birthday party. What? That was the last straw. Hey, oh, James go. David. You Come especially. On. You mellow up. So I decided to teach my stepsons the value of a dollar. You're not contributing. It's just a joke. No more credit cards. None. How much rent do you think you should pay? I'm gonna make it 4,000. Let's make it 4,000. So the boys needed to make money fast to pay their rent. But I was less than impressed with their car wash scam. What the hell's going on up there? You better explain this. OK, like first of all, that's my on. business. That's my studio. I was hoping that someday my boys would make money in an office. Just not my office. I got a great idea, OK? We got a great idea. Let's do it. Uh, I will always love you. Dude, we got money for this right here. No, I'll, I'll, I'll always love you. Hey, I will always love you, 100%. Sell your item. Yes, that's what we want to do. We want to sell our item. Get his face in the frame. <laughs> oh, my god. How much are we going to put it up for, bro? Easy. This thing's priceless. Brody, move your car. I can't even get my car out of the driveway. What are you doing, by the way? I was, I was checking in. Look, I'm on the internet. There's three computers you could use other than mine. This Perfect. is my in Whatever, here, it's not nice yours. In here. But it's just a computer. Yeah. I'm just trying to check emails. It's a computer. What do you got? What, what, you, what, is that? what are you guys doing? What is I it? was oh, checking I was emails. just looking at this is my mom's favorite song. I will always yeah. love you. <laughs> I was holding Give me that. Don't touch my Spencer. I'm so sorry. All right? Whatever it is you were doing with this, <laughs> don't. And turn the lights out again. Why don't you do some acting? Why don't you do some modeling? I mean, acting? That's... Oh, my god. Can you go in the movie business? I've been saying that. I'm his manager. I've well, been living you, that. You're not nobody's manager, I'm Spencer. Manager. Do you have any idea what it takes to be a manager of somebody? What are you managing, first of all? Business. All right, so you think you could get him into the movie business? Just watch me. Do you have any contacts? Just let me handle it. Fine. Look, I want you guys to do great. Maybe I'll go into the movie business. Not maybe. I'll be in the movie business by tomorrow night, as far as I'm concerned. Turn the jacuzzi off. Turn all the lights off out there. All right, please. Thank you. So how would you expect to pull off a drive-in movie on the lawn? Do you know, honestly. Honestly, how many cars have we found on the lawn? Serious? Right? I'm being dead serious right now. We can have a drive-in on the lawn. On the lawn. Well, you could do it. There's plenty of room. Bro, all you need is a screen. When Dave goes to sleep tonight, he's got that cabinet full of all the Academy movies that haven't even come out yet. Call it the world premiere at Casablanca. Slushies in the kitchen. Slushies and popcorn. This is glorious. The Academy of Motion Pictures has many rules regarding the showing of unreleased movies. This breaks just about every one of them. This guy is legitimately crazy. The Martin Lawrence movie where he's like a basketball you know? coach. This comes out this summer. Yeah. 
The next morning, I invited Brody to do something he's never done in his entire life. Hey, bro. What? You're going with me to, to work. Why? Are you ready? Almost. I'll be ready in two seconds. I'll One minute. I'm going to be in the car, OK? I mean, who knows? You may walk in that building and it might feel good to you. I want to play the drums. <laughs> I know, but what if the drumming thing doesn't work out? Oh, You've got to have a backup plan. So what do you think? Is there any department that interests you at all? I mean, like record promotion, going to the radio stations, pounding the radio stations to play your record, or um, the art department, or A&R, trying to find new bands, trying to find, you know, I am. I'm in a band. I know you're in a band, but you don't make money in your I band. I make a little bit of money right now. Yeah, but the band. Uh, whenever, whenever a band starts out, do they auto they immediately make money? No, it takes time. We got to get a little fall. But if the band. Yo, what's up? Doesn't what? do well. Oh, it's nice to see you. So busy, I had to wait outside to get to see you. Well, how are you? Very nice. Remember Brody? Of course they do. Only Michael Bublé, a guy I've sold millions of records with, can harass me about Elvis. Oh, my God. <laughs> Linda, four pounds of bacon, please. Quickly. Oh, my God. Why am oh. I helping you sound like Elvis? I don't know. I really don't know. Isn't it? I thought Elvis was one of your favorite... Dudes. He's dead and he was fat when he died. <laughs> That's that. Here, go ahead. For me, the less everyone talked about Elvis, the better. Linda, on the other hand. We met Elvis at a movie Well, he used to rent the movie theater out after midnight. So what my mess. girlfriend and I, I was Miss Tennessee and she was Miss Rhode Island in the Miss USA pageant. And we were invited to go to the movie theater after midnight. For and, Elvis's private screening? Yeah, right. And I was really tentative about going. How many people did he have in the theater? Uh, probably 20. So he knew when there was girls he oh, didn't know? Oh, yeah. People were, you know, trolling for him all the time. This is my assistant, Kathy. Have you never met? I don't think we have a couple times. How are you doing? Very nice to meet you. Would you mind sliding out for a second? Sure. Ooh, this is good. OK. Well, you want me to answer your phone? Well, yeah, sit down. Is that the phone? Phone's ringing. OK, go ahead. You like this? Good afternoon, David Foster's office. Good afternoon, David Foster's office. Good afternoon, David Foster's office. Yes, I will give you the opportunity for you to play it to me. And what I think is good, then I'll give it to Dave. Doesn't take well, you can present it in person to me, and then... It doesn't take unsolicited material. You know, I'm a musician myself, actually. I'm sure I do understand the depth of the song. You can't go there. At that point, I realized, as an assistant, Brody was a pretty good drummer. No way! Look at that! Oh, my <laughs> God. Where did this come from? Yeah, of course. The internet. We just Googled it. Bring the kids, leave the husbands at home. No, you're gone. You, tonight, you be there. Drive in movie tonight, Casablanca. Drive in movie, you guys should come. It was clear why Take Your Son to Work Day is only once a year. I'm sorry, you feel bad. You know what? You should take a nap. I'm going to take a nap. I'm going upstairs to take a nap. So tell Faria dinner at, I don't know, whatever time, 7 o'clock. Okay, honey. All right, honey. All right, I'll come up in a few minutes. Okay. All righty. Hey, Brody. David, just went upstairs. The coast is clear, okay? Okay. All right, let's let him in right now. Okay. What's going on? Uh, Brett? Yeah, nice to meet you. Nice Media to meet Monster, you. we brought your outdoor inflatable moves. Let's do it. Just uh, yeah, head on in water. there and yeah, yeah, yeah. Be real nice and quiet, though. <laughs> This is badass. This legendary James Bond lyric right there. 
up. You want to steal Dave's couches from the studio? Yes. Sounds good. <laughs> Get in. See it? I'm in. I'm All right, we got it. We got it. Let's roll. Oh my God. Hey, sis. We had, a, we had a jack of popcorns. Oh, we got that. here three lovely ladies with no dates. Oh, we got to work on that. It's going to be $10. I hate to charge you, but uh, stepdad's on our case. Hello, ladies. Hello. How you doing? You getting ready for Martin Lawrence? Get crazy? Oh. I'm trying to get a date here. Oh, oh this is so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. We're trying to make money. Uh, you know, you two, you might as well just go with her. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah, that's me. Thank you very much. I pay, you gotta, gotta pay rent sometimes. It's good for business. Oh, Have a good time tonight, guys. Do we need a permit for this? Mm -hmm. Honestly. No, we don't need a permit. We don't need it. Oh, it's done! Oh, look at this. You got, what do you need these glasses? Are you impressed, Doug? Very. You just scared the hell out of we us. We thought we were going to Do you honestly need a permit for something like this? Well, you need a permit for that collar, dude. I've never seen you wear one. <laughs> <laughs> we're making loot, boys. Yeah, seriously. I just 20s. wanted to say you guys have really outdone yourselves. Oh, David's going to freak out. She's right I'd freak out. But since I was over a quarter of a mile away at the main house, I still had no clue. Annie. Um, I'm gonna start the movie. You ready? Just go ahead and start it out. You can catch me up when I get back. Okay. All right, honey. Love honey, you. Love you. What is this doing in here? Every place I look, there's a light on. <sighs> Try to leave these on now. Please have a quarter pounder with cheese. Okay. Uh, six piece chicken McNuggets. And thank you very much. I'm quite All excited right. about it. Quarter pounder, please. All right. Where the f is my popcorn machine? <laughs> okay, I see my quarter the boys rejoiced knowing that everything was going exactly according to plan. Okay, Roy McCormick here. Until Malibu had its first blackout of the year. Oh, it's hard to scream, bro. The sound's going down. Somebody rooked it. What is going on here? Oh, God! Nice words. Well, get it back on! <laughs> oh, there we go! There we go! What the f is going on here? <laughs> All right, now we're back in prison. Brody! Brody! What 
What the hell is all of this? Bro D! Oh, Damn, 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 damn. It's okay. It's okay. They're, they're all paying to park here. Everybody paid. Everybody, Everybody paid. paid to park here. It's fine. It's... Why do you look so confused? I, I don't, don't, don't What is this? Everybody paid here. It's all... They're, they're cleaning it up. Where's Spencer? Where is Spencer? <laughs> Where is he? He's there. <laughs> Very funny, Spencer. Is this more of your <laughs> using my stuff for your enjoyment and pleasure? Sit up. Dang. Don't blame it all on Spencer. It was part oh, of I won't blame it all on Spencer. I was in your room. I found a lot of my movies in there. I found my movies in there that were a month old. Why were you going through my room? Why wouldn't I? It's my room, I believe. I let no, you use my, it. It's there. my room. I, you pay his rent now. Yeah, exactly. I pay four thousand dollars. That's what they did to make money to pay rent, Dave. I don't see how. I don't, I don't, see, how you don't, I don't see how you don't think this is clever. What, what the? That's Martin Lawrence. That's my movie. That's the movie I've been looking for. When were you looking for it? You said that we could go into the movie business. You looked at me in my eyes. You looked at me in my eyes. I never said I was going to be an actor. You said, said yes, I'll be very proud business. if we went into the movie business. Yeah. This is a crazy movie business. Out, 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 out. Dave, out. Dave, 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 come on. They paid money to come and sit there. And I don't see how I, you don't, I don't think. Mean, I don't see how you don't think this is clever what at the all. Hell is David, that? look at the screen. What the, the hell, hell is that? that? People need to eat. Huh. You said you could go into the movie business, what? bro. This is the movie business. Walter, what the hell? Are you working tonight? No. Do you know about this? No. You knew nothing about nothing, this. No. You work here all day, and yeah. you know nothing about this. That's only one day, no, no. But you knew nothing about this. Yeah. I'm taking a nap, and they're doing this. He has watching the free movie. Excuse me? He has watching the free movie. I thought he would be proud of us. I wouldn't even uh, think that. I, me too. I thought he would be amped. He will be. He will be. Give him time. You I don't get it. Does he just hate us or what? So, no, of course not. It's just his personality. Just Spencer. He just. Yeah, he definitely doesn't like me. That's not an issue. Well, no, he does. He likes you, Spencer. He just doesn't airborne. know how to take you. <laughs> I just think it's clever. It's like not just an, you know a way to go make money by you know doing whatever. It's a way to like have fun with it. Hi, David. Can you please look a little happier? What did you do? Tower rooms. I am sick and tired of turning off 10, 15, 20, 30 light switches every night. So you're cutting the electricity? Do I have another choice? I turn the lights off every night. By well, the way. before I go to bed, I turn all no, the don't lights lie. off. That's I go to bed, yeah, because oh, you I don't do. want to sleep. Don't in try the... to play like Wait, wait, child. wait, wait. Before you go to bed, you turn the lights off? Of course you do. You want it to be dark when you sleep. Oh, we also do it for different reasons, though. You know, you do it for the, the money factor, which is, you know, it's, the electric bill is going to go up, and I do it for the energy factor. OK, that's fair enough. But then you'd have three cars, and they're all V8s. When I was a kid, one time, I took my father's wrench, and I left it in the backyard overnight, one time. And the next day, he came to me quietly and said, you know what? You're never going to use any of my tools again. And he locked his tool cabinet, and that was that. And I never did. You guys, I asked you. don't take your wrench? No, and don't be a smart aleck. What I'm trying to say is, I turn off these lights every night, and you turn them back on again. I'm sick and tired of doing it. So I took all the light bulbs. You know, I'm just kind of bummed you're not more, you know, you're not stoked. Well, if I was just to take the incident, a drive-in theater in Malibu, making all that money, I would probably have to say, wow, that was pretty cool. For me not to be consulted even, for you to try and do it without me even knowing about it. You know, you should, you should be, I think you should be, you know, somewhat stoked. I'm stoked that you don't have any lights in your room. That's what's stoking me tonight. I'm going to bed. Oh, you turned the power yeah, There's no light bulbs. Oh, this is getting lame. <laughs> Why, because we don't turn off lights? And I'm thinking, you know, why can't I be as good as my dad in getting those points across? Forget about a light bulb, I'll put some candles, be more romantic. <laughs> Get some ladies, have a party. <laughs> it's like a little romantic party. It's a vibe in here. I wish I could be that good with them.
You want a war, Dave? You got one. You got one. <laughs> Coming out this season on The Princes of Malibu. Did you already make my sandwich or no? Mr. Foster said, yeah, don't make nothing for you. I need like 20 girls to audition over at the lobby. Um, How's your cooking ability? You are on my property. Now get the f off. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yes, this is David Foster. I need to get my plane booked immediately, please. We're going to Vegas. Thank you, Dave. What are you guys doing here? We just came with Dave. Let's stay there. I need a bricklayer just for about a half a day. Dude, what the David! Hello, Governor. Hey, you'd be, you'd be really proud of me. I'm working out right now. Oh, fantastic. You're keeping in shape. <sighs> oh, my God, we're too late. The man of the hour, David Foster, is here. Come on, Dave. Oh, what are you doing here? It's all nice, but you're late. Right here. You're late. Late for you.